With a twist from a 1960s craze, the University of Tennessee's Earth Month program had a night at the movies. The Office of Sustainability hosted a bike-in movie for students and Knoxville residents. The event was hosted in the Humanities Amphitheater on UT's campus. UT student worker Kaylee Ellis describes the event. So tonight is our biggest event of Earth Month, aside from Earth Day, which is tomorrow, Friday. Um, we're, we're hosting a bike and movie, and we're, spon we're sponsored by a number of organizations, including Tennessee Valley Bikes, URHC, uh, the Film Committee, uh, 90.3 The Rock. All of these organizations have come together to help put on this huge event. So we're going to be showing Wally back here on the amphitheater. We want it to be outside so everyone can be in nature, get a feel for everything. The feature film for the evening was Wally, an animated movie created by Pixar Studios. Ellis talks about the choice of Wally for the bike in movie. Uh, we're all, and we chose Wally because it's a sustainably focused film, so we don't want it to just be off or not. And Courtney Washburn, the coordinator of outreach in the Office of Sustainability, talks about the measures taken to make the movie green. And it's a waste free event, so everything that is consumed here. Um, which includes popcorn, sun kissed, and sun chips, courtesy of Youth Volunteer Dining, um, will be either composted, recycled, or the chip bags are actually going to go to a program called TerraCycle, which is an upcycling program. So it's, the bags are made into, say, um, lunch boxes or backpacks or purses, things like that. Washburn discusses another aspect of the bike in movie. We also have so the UT Outdoor Programs providing free bike tune-ups for all those who bike in, which bike tune-ups are usually, they can be anywhere from 30 to, I mean, they can be $70. So free bike tune-ups is really um, a good prize as well. UT student Casey Murray talks about his reasoning for attending the event. I like I like the whole bike in movie idea. I thought that was really cool. Which is actually one of the initial reasons why we decided to come here. Um, but yeah, I think that's a great idea. For UT Daily News, this is Matthew Osborne.